I honestly think everybody ought to be allowed to go broke at times. This is the house. Uh, today's the last day. Down the tube. Everybody talk. Action! He uh, mortgaged his house to help produce the movie and this you know what I really like about it is when it's cold your balls shrivel up you can't even find it oh that warm water feels good ah to see your own father eating weeds because he has no food that's I hope the food stamp people don't see this or they'll probably do it with everybody's food stamps and make them eat this stuff well, the Racketeers was basically it's a story about love, that everybody realizes that money isn't all it's cracked up to be. I don't know what makes Kimball tick when it comes to making this film his opus. That's the bottom line. You've got to have something to live on. Sell the movie. No, you can't sell it if it's not done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a lot of people looked at Kimball like he was a big, dumb guy, but he's not. He's been talk of the town for a lot of years, basically, everyone criticizing him. Saying, oh, Kimball's going to make a movie. He thinks he's going to be a movie star. One of the things that I liked about Kimball was he said, I'm going to get rich and famous. He says, I'm going to buy my way out of Grantsville. His diabetes, it scares me because I know one day he's not going to be here. I am doing this, it's totally legal. What my neighbor's doing, he has the right, right to, to do it, it. Yeah. and leave his ass alone. Hard to take and have that kind of faith, ain't it? Oh, yo, you got no help in the Lord. Lose one thing and even things don't go right, you're, I know I get kind of discouraged and flusterated. <laughs> don't you, Kimball? To tell you the truth, I haven't. I don't know who he's gonna sell the film to. Family films are big right now, but it's a weird little family film. These kids are out there like, you know, they're pimping kisses.